Hey guys and girls, Sneak back here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install ROMs or transfer ROMs off a US, USB flash drive to Bato Sierra on VirtualBox. And then I'm going to show you the, the way how I normally do it, which I find is easier. So the first thing you're going to need to do is run the VirtualBox. And then on here, we want to highlight where it says Battery Sierra or whatever you've got it installed under. Click on Settings. Go down to System. Make sure this network's ticked under Boot Order. Then scroll all the way down to Network. Make sure Enable Network Adapters ticked. And then this drop down box. Click on Bridged Adapter. And then mine's recheck PCE family controller yours might say something different so wherever yours says there just click on that click on the drop down in the advance and then on this one here you just want to make sure it says allow VMS and all you have to do is just click OK now I'm just going to run Bato Sierra Give a couple of seconds to load. And now, just right, try and find my pad. So, I'll go to devices, USB. I'm using a rock candy pad. So. Right now, that's connected. So, where I normally put ROMs on is I'll press. Start well, wherever you've got your start button connected as. I'll go to network settings and then I'll open a, f a random folder anywhere. Any folder doesn't matter. Um, I'll just use my ROM folder anyway. And then in here, in this the search bar here, I just type backslash backslash. And then whatever your IP address is showing on Bato Sierra, that's what you want to type. So mine's 192.168.1.2. Press enter. As you can see, it's brought up a share folder. So you just open that. And uh, in that share folder is where you put your ROMs. If you're playing PS1 games, make sure you put the BIOSes in. Any BIOSes go into the BIOS folder. So all I'd have to do are open my other folder. Oh, spare me a second. There we are. So this side here is Battle Sierra and this is my ROM file. So all I'm gonna do is open the ROMs on Battle Sierra. I have uh, find let's say Sega Mega Drive. Just open it up. And all you wanna do then is just copy your ROMs from your other file where you've got them saved and paste I can close these both down go back to Bato Sierra and VirtualBox uh, press back go to game settings then update game list and click yes so now we should have most of the games in the Mega Drive Ooh. there we are but if you can't do it that way uh, and you've got ROMs on a USB drive which I'll plug my USB drive in now it's got some ROMs on as you see it's popped up got ROMs on my USB drive so what you want to do here when you plug your USB drive in or your USB hard drive is click on devices at the top go to USB uh, find out what your USB name is or hard drive or it's called my Toshiba so I'm just going to click on Toshiba and then in Bato Sierra all I'm going to do is press F1 it'll take you to this page uh, 
because I don't have a label on my USB drive it's just like on un unnamed device or whatever it just comes up here so all you just do is just cl click on these until you find the one you're using open your own file up um, let's do some snares just highlight them all with your mouse click copy go to the left hand side click ROMs and uh, we did uh, NES weren't it so we'll just find NES um, I'm most likely gone past it, no I haven't there just right click and paste then uh, all you have to do out of, to get out of here is click on file and close window that'll take you back to Battle of Sierra then what you want to do again is just go to game uh, press start sorry go to game settings an update game list yes so now in the NES we should have the g more games in there and that's as simple as one two three really putting ROMs on um, if you've got any more questions please leave them in the comments if you like the video dislike the video thumbs up thumbs down subscribe all that good stuff I know that was a quick video but I hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.